All right, hey everyone, it's Eric again with shuckabuck.com with another Facebook advertising tutorial. Um, what I want to talk about today is the Facebook Pixel, and I get a lot of questions about this because it is confusing, especially if you are new, but I'm going to make it really as simple as I can for you. And since this is a video, I'm going to try and go through it as fast as possible since you guys can fast forward and rewind. Um, you know, on your VCR, you press that big button that says, you know, rewind or whatever. No, this is YouTube. This is digital. Okay. Um, so, basically what a Facebook pixel is, the old way to do it, the old conversion tracking pixel up here, was where you had to put a, a pixel on every page that you wanted to track. Now, in 2016, Facebook has one pixel, you install it one time, once, once in the header section of your website, and it tracks all of the pages on your website. Okay, And then inside this con Facebook pixel, there's something called um, custom conversions, which are events, standard events they're called, um, that track certain events that happen on your page. So when someone lands on your page and then goes to a shopping cart, on that shopping cart page, you can have that custom conversion add to cart standard event, which tells Facebook, hey, someone added to the cart, and you know that's counted as a cart conversion or whatever you want to call it. Um, there's also you know leads, so if you're collecting email subscribers, you can put that lead um, standard event on your thank you page, and that'll count that as a Facebook will count that as a lead. Um, and then there's purchases too. Those are the three main ones where you put it on the uh, purchase page. So that's the basics of how to do this. Um, so the first thing you want to do is go into your ads manager and go to pixels and it will take you to this page. And second thing is you want to view your pixel code. So this is your code. Everyone has a unique number in here. And all you got to do is copy it and paste it into the head section of your website. Now, if you're using a content management system like WordPress, I'll show you how to do it with a plugin. It makes it really simple. Um, and I'll show you how to do it with um, custom conversions also. Um, if, you're, if you have a web designer that knows how to do this, you can contact them and do that. Um, Shopify, I'm not sure. I'm sure it's just going into the code, going into your themes and your settings and the code of your website and pasting it in to the head section. So um, it should be pretty um, standard. <clears throat> Excuse me. It should be pretty standard with whatever um, content management system you're using. So I'm using WordPress, so I'm going to use um, that as an example. So if I were to insert my pixel code, copy this, and then go over to your website. And I use a plugin called Tracking Code Manager. You can just type that into the plugin section and add it and activate it. And then you'll come to this page where it says Add New Tracking Code. And then you can give it a name. So this, this is your Facebook pixel, so you want to put in you know, Facebook, Facebook pixel, um, something like site wide or something like that. And then you paste your code into, into the box. And then you want to make sure it says position it before the closing head tag. Okay. So if you're actually, sorry about the microphone. Um, so if you're doing this manually, you're going to want to look for that closing head tag and then um, paste it right above that. Okay. But with this uh, plugin, makes it really easy. So where do you want to add this code? Um, standard tracking code. Which pages do you want to insert this code? You want to insert it on the entire website. Okay. You can exclude certain pages and posts, but this is the site-wide Facebook pixel that we need to track with. We need it to track all the pages of the website. Okay? So then you save it. I already actually saved it, so um, 
I'm just going to go back to the tracking code manager because I'm going to need that. So once it's saved, you're all set. That's all there is to it about adding the pixel to your website. Now, creating custom conversions is a little different. I'm going to get out a handy dandy uh, notepad and I'm going to try and go through this with you. I, give me one second. Font. Bring it down a little bit. Now, I'm going to grab my pixel code. We're going to create some custom conversions like a lead. I'm only going to go through this with the lead because it's the same for everything else. So now that I have that copied, you're going to go click on create conversions. Now let's say that I have a um, email list or a sign up form for, for example, I have a sign up form for a, um, a checklist on my site. And if they sign up, they get the checklist and they're taken to a thank you page. I want to count that as a lead. So I'm going to track that with standard events. Now, there's a lot of standard events like view content, um, add to cart, initiate checkout, lead, purchase. So what, I'm, what I want to do here is take this little piece of code and I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to paste it right below where it says F, FBQ track page view. <clears throat> I'm going to enter. I want it right above the ending script tag. So I hope you can see that. Um, but where, right where it says it'll say FBQ, FBQ, and then right after the semicolon, after the page view, you want to click enter, and then you want to paste in the FBQ track lead. So what I'm going to do now is copy this, and then I'm going to go back to my website, and I'm going to add a new tracking code with my tracking code manager. Obviously, you can do this um, with a number of different plugins um, for WordPress and you're going to have to look up how to do it on Shopify because I'm not using Shopify right now. So I'm going to name this. Um, this is my checklist. So I'm going to go checklist lead or subscriber and then I'm going to paste the code in. Okay. Now this is standard code and I want to track it in specific pages and include tracking code in which pages include posts and I'm gonna uncheck that all and I'm gonna write it's, it's this one it says thanks for signing up do you want to exclude um, posts no I'm going to click save. Now, there is a handy dandy little tool for Chrome. And I'm going to have to move my browser a little bit so you guys can see it. Um, to make sure that it's working. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to that page. Uh, let's see here. Uh, okay, so here's the page that I installed it on, and hopefully I installed it right. So there's this, um, it's called Facebook Pixel Helper, and I should have brought that up, but Facebook Pixel Helper, Firefox and Chrome have it, so yeah, there you go. Facebook Pixel Helper on there. There's Facebook Pixel Helper for Chrome. It's just a little extension. So let's go back to my page, and here's the extension. And it's going to say two pixels found. So one pixel is the page view, meaning I'm tracking everybody who goes to this page. And then the other one is the lead. So there you go. 
Now I could always um, take out the page view. So if I don't want them to count this as a page view, I can go into my checklist lead and I'm going to edit this. And what you want to take out is this FBQ lead or page view. And then I'm going to update this. And I'm going to refresh this thank you page. It's still saying two. It's still saying two because we have the Facebook pixel on all the pages. That's fine. As long as it says lead on there, it's always going to track your leads. So what does this all mean? I don't know. Just kidding. I know. Um, well, let me go over this first. There's a number of different things. If you want to um, track someone who adds it to your cart, you copy and paste this code just like the last one into um, that tracking code and paste it on that specific page that you want to track um, people uh, that people go to. So put it on your add to cart pages. Um, if you want to um, track a purchase, you copy this code and you paste it in just like we did with the um, lead code. And then there's one more thing I forgot to talk about with the purchase. There's a value in there. So if you're selling something that's you know $20, you can put $20 in there and make sure your currency is um, up to date which with the currency that you're using. And yeah, that's about it. You're all set. So um, what does this all mean? This means I can now create ads for specific events that happen on my website, meaning you know how much money you're spending on ads and you know how much money you're getting in return. Pretty, pretty exact. Um, it's not super, it's not 100% exact, um, but it is, it works very, very well. And that's how you run a business. You know how much you're spending, you know how much you're getting out. All you gotta do now is testing. So if you want to learn more about Facebook ads, you can check out my Facebook ads fast track course. There's a link below the video. There should be a link on this video somewhere too. And then if you have any questions, you can always contact me in that um, contact button or contact link is also below this video. All right, guys, signing off. Peace.